Hey, are you thirsty for some inspiration and good energy? Why not sip on a piping hot cup of spiritual tea? If you want to get the real life juice, simply listen to the podcast with Mama Goose. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mama Goose Show where we let's talk real talk. I'm excited tonight, y'all, because I'm excited, number one, about my guests. And I'm also excited about the topic that we're going to speak on tonight. So I want you guys to come on in, come on into the space and get ready to join me for an awesome and fantastic show tonight. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I am Mama Goose. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And into this space, I would like to welcome my guest, Miss Anika McQuay. And I'm going to let her just tell you guys about her because, I mean, I can go on and on and on about what she do for me, but I'm going to let her tell you guys what she do. Okay. Awesome. Welcome, Anika. Well, hello. I must say it's extremely surreal to actually see the intro to the <laughs> podcast live. I was like, oh, wait, wait. We did that. How are you today? I'm well. I have been Good. excited since you said yes to me. Please know that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Gratitude. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am here today. We are going to discuss. Uh, let me bring up our topic for today, which is exercise your faith muscle. Um, for me, uh, let's first. I'm going to. What is faith? Definition of faith, right? And I'm me, I'm taking it to the Bible. I'm not coming mm -hmm. from no Google, no Webster mm -hmm. dictionary. We're coming from Hebrews 11, which says, Now, like N O W, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Amen. So, definitely. And again, today our topic is exercise your faith muscle. Well, I'm going to give you the opportunity, my dear, to just tell our viewers, our listeners exactly. Who is Anika McQuay? Oh, my goodness. Who is Anika McQuay? I could go on and on and on. Um, but long story short, a philanthropist who is passionate about people. Um, I'm a servant leader who was afraid of that uh, skill that I had. And when I say afraid, I think I was more afraid of the title of being a servant and serving, it just seemed a little scary and like, why would I want to do that? But I have come to the terms that I am. I have been placed on this earth. One of my assignments is to be a servant leader. Um, so I am the creative director and creative collaborator, as I like to say, of a marketing agency, my own marketing agency, where um, I work with um, other creative women with marketing, social media, email marketing, and we come together to create strategies and uh, give our clients the best services that we can. So we take things off of their plate so you all can enjoy your lives outside of running your day-to-day -day business. Um, in addition to that, I also run a nonprofit organization with my philanthropic sister. We just celebrated 12 years of Show Me wow. Shoes, whose mission is to rebuild confidence from the soul. So, I mean, again, that stemmed from something, um, from a moment of just wanting to give back and serve and be the big sister that I am to lots and lots of young ladies around the world. Awesome. 12 yep. years. Congratulations. Thank it you. Is awesome. I, and I, I love what you guys are doing. I really do. I wish somebody um, back when I was in high school, you know, would, would help me. Let me just be honest, because that was a time when my mom couldn't afford to go and get me a dress. As a matter of fact, I remember my classmates actually taking me out to find um, a dress and it, it wasn't for my mother. So thank you guys for what you do. Yeah. That's All one right. of the reasons we got started. Yep. Amen. Well, we are here to talk about one, faith and your story about stepping out and exercising your faith muscle. Um, I, I will say that I totally understand um, when God calls us to do something. And then there's what I call, well, what everybody knows is that little word fear. And I'm so glad that mm -hmm. I have come up with a different acronym for that. For me, fear means faithful, what I say, faithfully, oh my God, see, there I go, I forgot it. I'll give it to you. Yes, <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Faithful, faithful expectations about reality. 
Ooh, I like that. Faithful, Faithful expectations, expectations about reality. About reality. And my mm. reality for me is God's reality. So my faithful expectations are in God's reality for my life. But we ain't going to hold up these people any longer. Um, so when I was talking to you uh, and, and I asked you to come on, you was telling me your story. And so I just want you to go ahead and, and if you don't mind, just jump right on in there. And I'm going to bring the screen up so you'll be the only one on the screen. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Okay. We'll okay. do. Awesome. So, do um, solo. There we go. My my journey has been um, <laughs> a faithful one. Let's just start there. Uh, worked in radio and television. Um, what was my dream job? Left Kansas City to come to Atlanta to work at my dream job and um, did it at one particular network for seven years. Left, went to, to television and worked in television for three years. Went back to my comfort zone in radio where um, that last position I worked wasn't as fun as my first opportunity in radio. And I just knew I wasn't being fulfilled because the creative in me was not able to tap into those creative skills at all. I was literally sitting at a desk for eight hours doing data entry. And I'm like, there's gotta be something else. But I had no idea what that journey was. And um, it was really strange. I started having, um, I became first and foremost, extremely aware of myself, my surroundings, what I was doing, who I was hanging around with, meditating, yoga, and just practicing being silent so I could hear and see these signs that I know are supposed to present themselves anytime we're in a space of confusion. So um, I definitely highly met. Um, I definitely set into that space of fear and was at work one day, sitting at my desk, and I had a work husband at the time who used to always bring me Chick-fil-A breakfast every day. And this one particular day, I heard it's time to move. And I mm -hmm. turned around and thought it was my work husband that day. And it, like, it was literally a voice um, and it wasn't him. And I, I peeked around my, my cubicle again. I was like, whoa, that was really strange. Like I heard it loud and clear and there was no speakers on, nothing, it was just really strange. So I'm like, okay it's time to move I'll take that for whatever it is um and I remember having a disagreement with one of my supervisors at the time and it got extremely heated and I remember just getting up from my desk and I was like I gotta walk away I walked away and decided I need to take a week off because I'm in an environment that's not feeling me in a space where I can um be more aware, like even though I know I heard it's time to move, there were so many other distractions coming my way where I didn't allow myself to really receive what was happening at that time. So I took a week off. During that week, I was having the most vivid dreams where I was waking up and I was writing everything down. And I remember one of my dreams, there were, um, I was driving in a car, I pulled up at a park and there was a man who who you would think was a savior. It was a black man that had this glow over him. And he was like, come here, let me talk to you. We, we need to talk. Um, and as he's talking to me, there are sharks in the water that are passing, passing, trying to pass him to get to me, but he's catching them. He's catching them by his, the fins as we're talking. And he's literally protecting me from these sharks. I wish I could make this up. I wake up from the dream and at this point again, everything is so vivid. I'm writing them down, writing them down. Okay. I get back to work at this corporate company <laughs> and you park in this garage and from the garage to my desk, there's this long hallway. It felt like a mile. I mean, mm -hmm. any anytime you go somewhere where you, you don't enjoy being in their presence, of course, it seemed like a, wall, a long walk. And I remember walking down this really, really long hallway and squinting my eyes like, what's hanging from the ceiling? I'm seeing all this random stuff hanging from the ceiling. And right, oh my gosh, I wish I had the picture. I'll have to pull it up and share it with y'all on Instagram because I still have the photo in my phone to this day. As I get close to my desk, I'm like, why is there a hammerhead shark hanging over my desk? So no one's in the office at this time. And literally right above my desk is a hammerhead shark and there's smaller sharks being hung um, around the space. So literally it's like, shark world in the office mm -hmm. this is after my dream and um 
<laughs> I was told that the sales team at the time decided that we needed a spirit animal and we went from tiger to lion and all we came up with was shark. So we made it shark week and I'm like, oh God, you cute. I see what you're doing here. Um, it's time for me to quit. When I tell you, and, and I don't encourage everyone to do this, but there were so many things in addition to the dream, the, the, mm -hmm. the words that I heard, random people that were saying stuff to me. I was going to events and praying and people were just calling me out the blue. I'm going to put that in quotes, out the blue, because we know God sends angels and people to re people to us to reiterate our story and tell us things that kept telling me, girl, what are you scared of? Like, he, he's got mm -hmm. you. So I typed up my notice. I had no idea, no clue what I was going to do, but I knew I enjoyed helping people. I knew I was great at sales and marketing. I was great at creating proposals. I knew graphic design. I could play in Photoshop. So I could figure out how bills were going to get paid and how to use my gifts. And I remember when I turned in my notice, everyone in the office was like, what are you going to do? You know, what, what what's your next step? And I was like, I'm going to be great. And everyone thought I was being funny and sarcastic. I was like, no, I really am. I'm, I'm going to be great with whatever it is that I'm going to do. And I remember walking out that door and saying, oh, you fill in the blank. Uh, what's getting ready to happen? Mm -hmm. And I kid you not, it was like clockwork. Um, a random friend called me. I'm starting a business. You happen to understand marketing and social media? Of course. And I just started getting these calls, random calls from people asking me for services that I provided while I was at the radio station. So when we talk about building the face muscle, entrepreneurship is one of those where you have to stay in the gym. You have to work that muscle. You have to work your belief. You have to work your faith, your strength, um, because day to day, you know, we, we have this dream of having our own, right, and having our own business. Well, you think about it, you're so used to having a nine to five and you know, having that nine to five that this company is going to give me my check on this day and this day and it's going to be this amount and I'm good. Entrepreneurship is the ebb and flow. Some months, you know, clients have to cancel. Some months you do really, really, really great. And then other months you're like, okay, Lord, uh, I did thank you for last month, right? This, this month I'm looking a little, uh, a little thin. What, what, what are we going to do? And he never has failed me yet. I tell this story over and over. And, and Valerie, we talked about this, which is why the conversation got started. There's so many times where I have to tell myself, I have to think about when has he ever given up on me? When has God the most high? When has he ever not? When have I ever not been provided for? When have I not had everything that I needed? Even though I might have thought last month I needed a million dollars because I want to go to Dubai or Hawaii and do these things. But like I had exactly what I needed in that moment and still felt full um, with the gift that I was given. So yeah, when we talk exercising that faith muscle, it is something that I have to practice. We all should be practicing on a day to day and not when we need something, but most importantly, when we have, because you're going to be reminded like, man, this was a moment where I felt like I could, I didn't have the strength to work from, you know, 8 a.m. to 4 in the morning and, and go to sleep on four hours. But something in me gave me that excitement to get up and do what I love. And I'm, I was like, there's nobody but God, because there's no way this humanly flesh does some of the things that I do um, on a day to day. So. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. Yeah. Um, and and I, I do want to um, you had mentioned the, the the things that, you know, you do. You, you was meditating. And for me, how important and I just want to ask this question, but how important is meditation to you? Because I find it when I'm when I'm stressed or not unsure if I take even five minutes to. Yep sit still, be quiet. I realize that God speaks even within that time. You would be so, it's so simple. I don't know why we make it so hard, but it's amazing the things that come to you when you really just sit still for a moment. And I, you couldn't tell me I wasn't queen multitasker. I, no, I'm going to 
get some stuff done on my phone while I do this and I'm going to get it done and we're going to figure it out. And there's so many times when you're extremely busy, it's mm-hmm. best to ask, you know, tell yourself when you're too busy, that's the best time to sit still. Whether sit still and pray, pray and, you know, sit in quiet or just take some time to pray and say, Lord, lead me. What do I need to do? What's my next step? And, and, and what I, I come to understand and realize, and I don't know if a lot of people, oh my God, I hope I'm not frozen, but it uh, looks like our internet connection. It was just a little bit, but we, you back on. I think we back awesome. on. Track. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Um, faith is what I, I believe um, in, in my research, I found that faith is an action word. Mm. It's an action word. You, you have to choose. You have to uh, choose to trust that God has your best interest in, at heart. You have to choose to believe that what you you ask God for, and if it's in his will, that he will give it. So I think faith is an, an action word. Um, it, it's just for me, let me give you um, a, a, one of one of my, my stories. I have a a son, of course, and he took me through a whole lot during his school years. But even during that time, when the moment God said, take your hands off of him, I got him. Mm -hmm. It was hard for me because I felt like, you know, it's like I'm physically here, you know. And and so but when the moment I decided to I'm done, Lord, I'm, I'm putting my faith that you're going to take care of my son and, and what the SRO and the probation officer and the school says about him is not what you see him. It's not how you mm-hmm. see him. And mm-hmm. for me, I, I stood on the faith that God was going to change him and, and not me, you know, as far as um, trying to be in control, I left it alone, but my son is 30 years old now. He has a baby. He has a job. And I just wake up in the morning. It's like, Lord, I just thank you for being so faithful to us. Mm-hmm. Even when mm-hmm. we can't be faithful. But I'm here to tell y'all it is time in the season that we it don't. As a matter of fact, it doesn't matter what season you're in. You can be in your drought season, your season of famine. You can be in your in your season of harvest. You still need that faith to get through to the next season. And so I I, I do, I, I don't, oh my God, Anika. So what do you have to, to tell or uh, share, you know, with our, um, with our listeners about exercising your faith muscle? What do I have to say? Um, just being consistent, uh, mm, reminded, yeah. being consistent um, in your routines, if it is a prayer routine, if you have to get up, meditate, pray, eat breakfast, work out, like find some time for yourself to get that mind clear, whatever you need to do, as opposed to jumping out of the bed and getting on the phone, but believing it's going to be a great day. I'm going to make the connections that I have. Um, I'm going, like speaking, affirming, you know, because of course we say it all the time, it's in the Bible as well, with faith comes action. I think a lot of times, People think that, you know, it's a genie. I'm going to just pray and things. No, 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 no. <laughs> we still have work that needs to be done in the midst of it. And it's almost as if, you know, it, it is an assignment. It's an assignment <laughs> that we need that needs to be understood. Yeah. You know, and we need to move forward in that, um, in that assignment. So um, working that faith muscle, just putting in the work, whether it is praying for the strength, um, I know like I was traveling over the weekend and I actually took, believe it or not, a day and a half off. <laughs> like I traveled without my laptop and Lord knows my heart was just like, ah! but at the same time I was able to be still. So then coming back today and even preparing for the day, it was like, whoa, okay, I'm moving really fast. And I wanted to take a nap as much as tired as I was. I had to remind myself, you just had, Saturday and Sunday off and spent half of the afternoon, you know, Mm -hmm. flying. So whatever you need to do to get yourself back together, let's do that. And I had to sit for a moment. I was like, God, all right. I literally was going to try to take a nap before this. And I went, no, I've got proposals that need to be done. Like I have other jobs that need to be fulfilled. 
Mm-hmm. He just, I just need the strength for like just 20 minutes. So the timer that I set for my nap, I was able to get the proposal done that I needed to get done. And I felt so good about it. And what's even better, having that faith and asking for that strength and moving in that, mm-hmm. when I get to bed tonight, I'm going to be able to sleep so good because I didn't put things off and just hope that, oh, Lord, I hope that it comes. And, you know, it ha- no, 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 no. We still have to put that work in. Like, you yes. have to working that muscle, that faith and the action muscle. It goes in tandem. It goes hand in hand with each other. So um, being consistent, believing in yourself and really affirming, affirming who you are, affirming who your God is and, and what your mission is. Do not be afraid of these dreams people these stories it, it's not happenstance if you just happen to be watching this live and you you need to be pushed to that next level and wondering like you need to be encouraged on how to move forward like recognize all those things like i've be, i've come into a space now where i have some really close people that i've lost within like the last two years that are my angels when i tell you life has become what's a good word for it i don't want to say a game Mm-hmm. But it's become such an adventure for me because now I, I can tap into the intuition. I can, you know, I can hear spirit speak. I recognize that I am a human having a spiritual experience now with people. Um, so how we move through that day to day is like so important to why we are here on this earth. So. Yes. And, and yes. to be quite honest, to hear stories like this for me. Um, where people have literally heard from God, they didn't mm-hmm. fear, but they actually, you know, exercised that faith muscle and they stepped out. And when they stepped out, what God did, he just opened all the doors for them. So it, it increases your faith when you mm-hmm. see that, you know, mm-hmm. you took action based on what God said do, and then mm-hmm. God himself showed up. So it increases yeah. our faith to just, you know, to stand and know and trust in the one and only God. I just want to thank you, Anika, for for joining me on tonight. And Mm -hmm. it's what I always do. I I, typically on on an audio show, um, I give a mama goose nugget, right? Oh, yes. (laughs) A mama goose nugget. And so Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, what what am I going to do today? So this is what I did. Um, for us today, I am not going to say it. I actually put it on a little small video. It, it did it show up. It popped and it didn't stay long. But the impossible mm. and an all possible God. I love that. You know what? Every morning I wake up, I think it's Proverbs 143. And I say, may the morning be word of your unfailing love. For to you, I put my trust. Show me which way that I should go for you to trust my life before my feet even hit the floor. And when I tell you now, I'm so inspired to dream bigger than I ever have before. Because listen, no one could have ever told me that I would be running a business at 41. You, you know, no one, I would have never believed I, I was always taught and grew up, you know, my family, you're supposed to work in corporate and you get a check from the man and this is how you move forward. And um, one of my really good friends, she recently got married and she, she told me, Anika, I have to dream bigger mm-hmm. because she's gotten everything she's wanted from her career and her love. And that fueled me. So it was so exciting to hear that like ooh, like that's yummy I can dream bigger and dream of the impossible and know like why not me why not why wouldn't I be able to have the life that I want because there's a reason why the things that I'm passionate about and I love Mm -hmm. are so near and dear to my heart it's that road to get to it (laughs) Were you in the gym and you working that faith and action muscle that we have to believe in day to day that's gonna get us there? So I, I am I am excited about what God is doing in your life. Yes. Uh, you. I truly am. And to be honest, I thank God um for 
even bring it's it's just so funny how he works. I promise y'all. Yes. God is an intentional God. Okay. The way I met this young lady, I mean, like when I heard that she does websites, I just decided, like, okay, Lord, I don't know where I'm gonna get the money from. I don't know. I know it's gonna cost. I said, but I need Anika on my team. And that day at that faith board event. Faith board. <laughs> Faith yep. board. There you go. That word again. At yep. faith board event is where God said, "Hey, she's here." And I, I stepped out, and I just thank you. If y'all want to see my website and the work that she does, www.iamvaleriechampion. Period. And you're gonna see how awesome she is. So, Anika, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for what you do Absolutely. in your nonprofit organization in helping thank the young you. ladies. And thank you for, for what you do for me, for Valerie of Champion. Course. I truly appreciate y'all. So please know if you get a newsletter, it's coming from Anika. <laughs> And Shanisa, we got to shout out our girl. Shanisa, that helps us out too. She's Shanice, yes. And I want to give yes, a shout out to, yes. to her partner, Shanice. And I just, I'm grateful for both of you ladies. I truly, y'all help keep me on my toes. You know, so that's I, our I, goal. I, that's, that's the goal. So we're glad we can help. Amen. So uh, until our next interview, because we have to come back and maybe we'll talk about that, but uh, our next interview will be. Y'all, she has a she and another um, partner of hers have some nutritional needs that I think you know is is beneficial to us. So we're gonna bring her back, and then we're gonna strictly talk about sea moss. That's yes. what we're gonna talk. About. Oh, mm -hmm. I need to place another order too. Thanks for that reminder. <laughs> I just thought about that. Look, I think I still have your code, so I'm gonna use it. Okay, amen. Yes. I love your yes. and so love you for, Thank for you. Of you course. have a blast. You too. Awesome. There we go. Again, thank you, thank you all so much for joining tonight's uh, Mama Goose Show, where we discuss exercising your faith muscle. And again, I thank uh, my guest, Miss Anika McQuay for joining us. Uh, she is awesome. Um, and if you want to get to know her, she is definitely on Facebook. Anika is spelled A-N-N-E-K-A, -A, last name M-C-Q-U-A-Y. I failed to allow her to leave her information, but that's that's her. Look her up on Facebook, Anika McQuay. Again, see you guys next time on the Mama Goose Show, where we hmm, talk real talk. Amen. Amen. Hey, are you thirsty for some inspiration and good energy? Why not sip on a piping hot cup of spiritual tea? If you want to get the real life juice, simply listen to the podcast with Mama Goose.